Suppose we wish to fit a power function to a data set. The calculator can do this, and here's how. We shall use the following data set to demonstrate this particular command. And the data set is listed here. So we hit stat. We go ahead and enter in these data values under the edit menu. And the first number in each one of these ordered pairs are the x coordinates. They will be listed in L1. And the second number in each one of these ordered pairs are the y coordinates, and they will be listed under L2. All right. Now that we've entered in our data values, we may go ahead and proceed with the construction. And to do that, you hit STAT, and you go under CALC, that's the middle one here, and you go to PWREG, that is Power Regression. And we'll go ahead and tell it to take in L1 as the x-coordinates, then we'll type in a comma. Then we'll tell it to take L2 in as the y-coordinates, type in a comma, and then we're going to hit the VARES button, and we're going to scroll over to YVARES, and we're going to enter in on function, and we're going to store the results in the Y1 slot under the uh, Y equals menu. We'll go ahead and execute this command and here we have the results. In this particular case we have r squared as the coefficient of determination. The closer this value is to 1, the better the choice of model. We also have the r value, which is the correlation coefficient. This gives us an indication of how linear the data is. In this case we are using a logarithmic scale, so on a logarithmic scale the data appears linear. That is why the R value is uh, produced, and this is what it's telling us. This R squared value is very, very close to 1. The R value is also very close to positive 1, and that is what the program is telling us, is that on a logarithmic scale, this data would look very linear. Now let's see a plot of the function with the scatter plot of the data set. So we'll go under second and y equals. We'll turn the uh, plots on. We'll select scatter plot, and we'll go ahead and select L1 as the X list, and we'll select L2 as the Y list. Our mark will be the box so we can easily see the data values. And then we'll hit zoom and zoom stat to size up our window. And here we can see the data values as the boxes here, and we can also see the power curve being graphed on the, the window. Now before we mentioned that the R value is given on a logarithmic scale, and I will demonstrate what this means here as well. If we go ahead and hit the natural log of the first list, and store that in list 3, we have rescaled the input values to be on a logarithmic scale. If we do the same thing for L2, take the natural log of L2 and store that as L4, we have rescaled the Y values onto a logarithmic scale also. And if we go under the stat plots menu and change the X list to L3 and the Y list to L4, and then plot these results, what we're going to see is a linear looking data set. Now I, I've deselected the uh, original plot so that it doesn't show up in the window. And here we can see that our five data values appear very linearly. They are virtually on a straight line. And this is what it means uh, for a power regression on a logarithmic scale. So here we can see the transform data to a logarithmic scale. That's what's going on here. This data looks very linear, and this is where the R value is computed from. All power regression computations involve this type of transformation in the background. 
This transformation allows us to use linear regression techniques to obtain these R values. The results from changing back from a logarithmic scale is what the program produces. And this is how you can do a power regression on the TI-8384 calculators.